Welcome back to the Mind Body Project. Thanks for taking a little time to join me today. I remember the last time I left high school. Um, I remember I graduated, and, and when I graduated, I knew that was the last time I was going to be in high school. I remember the last time um, I left McDonald's when I worked at McDonald's um, in my night when I was 19, 20, 21, worked there for a few years. When I when I quit that job, I went to work at another at a factory. So I knew when I left McDonald's that was going to be the last day I worked at McDonald's. When I went to work at my factory job, I went to work at for McDonald's, I went to went to Boeing and and worked there and, and when I left that job to go back to school, I, I remember thinking this is the last time I'm going to be working here. And then I went to another factory job and then another factory job and that last factory job I worked and I got laid off and I knew that was the last time I was going to be working at that factory. Matter of fact, I knew that was the last time I was going to be working in a, in a factory at all. That's when I decided that, you know, I was got, had been laid off a couple times before and got tired of getting laid off and thought, you know, this is the last time I get laid off. This is, um, this is the final time. That's when I decided to become a personal trainer, um, go back to school, um, work on my degree and and decided that that's not going to happen again. That was the last time. You know, there are a lot of things that we do that w w we remember that's the last time. We remember that um, school, jobs, um, different uh, might be relationships. Th there's things that happen that we know, okay, that is the last time. But what about those things that we didn't realize we're the last time. Um, Kim and I, my wife, we talk about this a lot, about the last times, and we, we talk about our kids being little. Our, our kids are grown now. They're um, all young adults and in their 20s and, and moving on to um, careers and families and all those different things. And we, we often look back, and, and so now we're empty nesters, and we look back and think, we didn't quite realize some of the things that were last times, and for us, uh, some of those were when we when we picked up our our kiddos and and we gave them a hug and we picked them up from the ground uh, maybe they came running in and we picked them up off the ground we gave them a hug there was a last time to that and we didn't realize that there was a last time we didn't realize that that when we did that that was the last time we didn't realize there came a point uh, with our kiddos that we have four that there was a last time we changed a diaper on one of our kids. Now, yes, that's like, oh, thank goodness we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, but we didn't realize that, that that day we changed a diaper was going to be the last time we ever changed a diaper on one of our kids. There's, um, for some of us, there's a last time that we, we hugged a loved one or a friend that when we did that, we didn't realize that that was going to be the last time. You know, in, in, and as we get older, some you, you might be getting older, it might be get hard to get up off the ground and down on the ground. And you didn't, when you got off the ground that last time, you didn't realize that was going to be the last time you sat down on the ground, um, as we used to say, crisscross applesauce, and you got up. And when you got up, you might have said, oh, that was kind of hard to get up. That was a little challenging. You might have used a four-step process of getting on one knee and putting a hand on a knee and standing up. But you didn't realize that was the last time that you were going to get down on the floor and get back up on, on purpose. There are times when we fall, when we get down on the floor, we didn't really mean to. But it, it's a, a time of I meant to get on the floor and I got up. You didn't realize there was a last time that you bent over and tied your shoes. You think about it and you think, I didn't know that that time I tied my shoes was going to be the very last time. There's a time when I didn't know when I drove to the store or I drove um, into town, I drove around town, that that was going to be the very last time that I was able to drive. There might be times when you think, I didn't know um, as kids, you know, when, when I was a kid, you know, living with my parents and moved out and moved back. I didn't realize when I moved out that was going to be the last time I ever lived with my parents. I didn't think about it in that way that, you know, that was going to be the last time. And there's so many times um, that things happen that we just don't realize that's the last time. 
uh, you know, my girls, they don't, they don't run in and anymore and, and give me a hug and, and tell me about their day and, and want me to read them a bedtime story, um, sit with them. They, they, you know, they're older, they're, they're in their twenties. They, they're, um, have relationships, they're moving, they have careers. Those things don't happen anymore. But I didn't realize when I sat and might have read them a bedtime story that that was going to be the last time I read them a bedtime story. We often want to, um, if, if we were to experience a moment as it was our last, how would that be different? How would that, how, how richly would that enchange our, uh, enrich our lives and um, really change our lives? Because we think about it. So, we experience those moments and we just think, oh, I have plenty of moments ahead. Uh, whether it's our kiddos being little, um, you know, I went to a, um, when my kids were little and we played baseball and softball and basketball and all that kind of stuff. I didn't realize there was a time that, you know, this is going to be the, my last little dribblers game that I go to for one of my kids, or this is going to be the last baseball game I go to for one of my kids and being a little one. It's going to be a last softball game I go to. I didn't realize that. And I was, and as a younger parent, I was always ready to rush through those things. Let me, let me get through those things because we need to get on to the next, the next, the next. And we, we forget to experience the, those moments. And so the, the challenge, as, as I talk about today, is the last time. How would we experience a moment if we thought it was the last time? So I want to share some, some thoughts I had about how we can experience a moment as if it were the last moment. And it's not saying that, that it's going to be, but it's really a perspective of a, a mindset of what would, would we do differently if this was the last moment, the last thing, the last time we did whatever it is we spent with someone, what would we do a little different? And the, the, the first is, is kind of want to talk about if we were with people, with how would we experience a moment, how, if it was our last with someone, with a loved one, with a friend, what would we do? And it would be, be engaged. There are a lot of times when my uh, girls, and, and I remember probably more so with my girls, um, than my boys, um, only because when, when the boys were younger and, and in junior high and, and all that, yeah, cell phones were still a lot, but I think we spend way more time on those um, for, um, for work, for uh, leisure, for all kinds of different things on our phones. We just spend more time on them now, um, and there's about four or five years difference between my boys and girls. So, so there, there's a gap there. And I think as, as business changed, then I was definitely maybe answering text more on email, more, uh, posting more, doing different things like that. But I remember, uh, like I said, more so with my girls, but they would come home from, from school or I'd come home from work. Um, typically they were already home. So I'd come home from work and they'd be sharing with me about their day and, and what they had coming up and, and they'd get done talking and I'd realized that I hadn't heard what they had said. I mean, I'd heard that they were speaking, but I didn't necessarily, I necessarily wasn't engaged because I was on my phone. I was, whether emailing or texting, whatever um, it was, I was doing that and being engaged um, in that. And so I was paying more attention to that and, and I was nodding my head, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, yes, mm-hmm, yeah, uh-huh, okay. But then when they got done, I realized that I hadn't heard what they'd said because I was too uh, into my phone. I wasn't being present. So, um, and I did at times try to really be mindful of that and, and so that I did pay attention a little more to them, put my phone down, um, spent that time being more engaged. But can't we do that? Don't we, don't we oftentimes, how many times do you go out to eat and you might see a family? And, and you might be that family, I, I don't know, but you might see a family and they're all on their phones. Nobody is engaged. What if that was the last time uh, you had a family meal together? What if that was the last time? How would that be different in that moment uh, for a family that's all on their phones? They would put their phones down, have some conversations, tell each other what they appreciate about each other, 
um, share about their day, share about their experiences, and sh and have a conversation. Uh, and just as my girls, you know, I put the phone down. I wanted to talk to them, wanted to see what's going on. I should be able to talk to them and remember what they said, not not talk to them and go, I have no idea what they said, but I can't tell them that because I was too engaged my phone. So uh, it would be different when we become engaged, when we put our phone down, we put our device down, we, we turn off the TV, we give give it attention, um, we become engaged. And and the same thing is, is some of those simple things as getting down the floor, getting up, uh, doing those things, we go, okay, that was hard, but did I do it? Yes. And, if I, and being engaged is, did I do it? Yes. It was hard, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. It was challenging, but I'm going to do it again because I can still do it. It's just harder. Uh, and I, I think we stop doing things like that because it is harder. And when we stop doing it, we don't, we are unable to do it again. It takes so much more work. So it's being engaged and being present about what can I do? Yes, it's challenging, but I can still do it. It may take me longer. I might be slower, but I can still do it. And then the, the, the next one is understanding what emotions the moment is allowing us to feel. I don't think we do that enough. Um, I know for me, I don't. Uh, experience the moment. If it was the last, what would you, how would you be experiencing that moment? Would you be full of happiness? Would you be full of joy? Would you be full of sadness? What, what kind of um, enrichment in your life would it make if you could um, understand the emotion of the moment? Um, instead of trying to, to rush through it, let me rush through this moment and get to the next. Because we don't get that moment back. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. So if we're engaged, then we can better understand what it's allowing us to feel. And, and, and we do that by getting involved in it. And man, this is really, I'm just enjoying this moment, this, this time, this, and a moment is, you know, it may be, a whole event it may be a whole day it's just you're taking those moments and 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 really engaging with them and saying well how does this make me feel and then when you reflect on it you remember how that event made you feel like it was your last time like i you know i truly was in the moment i wasn't looking forward to the next moment um looking ahead looking ahead i was truly in that moment um and there's been times um, especially in my career as, as I'm trying to build a business and, and do those things that, that I neglect those with those moments with family. Like, uh-huh, 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 let me get on to the next thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, let me get on to the next thing. Let's hurry this along so I can get to this or I can get to that. And I look back and I realize that there's a lot of things that I skipped over. There's a, a movie, I think it's called Click. Um, it's with uh, Adam Sandler. And, it, it, you know, he's always kind of in a hurry. And... <laughs> this he meets this guy or whatever <clears throat> but he gives him a remote control so he can go through his life and he can pause things he can fast forward he can rewind he can do all those things and he finds that that he he keeps fast forward through maybe an argument or being sick or uh, having a big presentation at work and then he finds out that uh, he keeps fast forward and then he fast forwards bigger and bigger chunks. And so it fast forwards to him being an old man uh, on his deathbed and he can't remember his life because he fast forwarded through it all. He just kept hitting the fast forward button and it flew by him and he didn't remember any of it. And I often think about that and how that would affect my life if I didn't keep hitting the fast forward button. Um, taking those times to experience whatever those are um, those moments that we might be uncomfortable that we try to fast forward through, but we engage in those and how did they make us feel? And we're going to, we're going to, life's going to be richer through them or um, we're going to learn lessons through those. So they're very important. And, and the last thing is, and I think this is so important that we do and say things as if it were our absolute time we were ever going to experience that moment. If, how many times have you been with somebody or, or been talking to somebody and go, I just feel like there's something I should say, but you don't say it. And you later wish, man, I wish I'd, I wish I'd said that. I wish I had shared what was on my mind, shared what was on my heart with that person. 
and, and, then, and I think that's a, when we have that urge to say something, I think that's a nudge. A nudge to say, go ahead and say it. And I, and I think we don't because we think, well, what's that person going to say? What are they going to think? Um, you know, if, if we, um, and I'm guilty of this, Kim is always trying to, to get me to dance in public. She'll just want, just if a song comes on, she'll want to dance. I'm like, oh, no, I'm too embarrassed. Uh, I'm, I'm totally guilty of that. And if it was the last dance I was ever, because I was ever going to get with her, wouldn't I take that opportunity? It doesn't matter what what other people might see or think, that doesn't matter. It's me taking the time to experience that moment with her. Um, and, and I'm really talking to myself through this too, is because that's what I need to do and, and let go of, am I embarrassed? Am I, um, what, what are the things, you know, it's goofy, I can't dance, all these things that go through in my mind. But if it was the last, who cares about all those things? Who cares? It doesn't matter. And we have to think about that. What's that nudge? What's that thing saying that we should uh, do or say? Um, and, and take that opportunity to do those things. And it, because I, I think, too, we, we think um, about years ahead, and we think about all these years we have left. Um, let's say the average age of, a, um, of an adult of, until we die is the average age, age is 80. You know, I'm, I'm currently... Um, 47, about to be 48. I think, oh, I have lots and lots of years. But when I look at it, I have, you know, if, if I was to live until the average age of 80, I have about 33, 32, 33 years. And if we think about that, I think, you know what? I only have 33 summers left. I only have 33 birthdays left. I only have 33 Christmases left. I only have 33 of my absolute favorite holiday, which is Thanksgiving. That means I get turkey and dressing and ham and all the fixings and a turkey sandwich only 33 more times until if I live to the average age of 80. I only, have, I only get that 33 more times. How does that now change the way I approach a birthday? I approach a holiday. I approach a summer. It changes everything. Because I thought I had years and years and years. It sounds like a long time. But when we put that number on it, we only have 33 more. After next, this year, it'll be 32 more. After that, it'll only be 31 years. 31 times I get to do that. And when we think about that, it, it, it changes everything. So I encourage you to... To think of things is it's the last time, not to be morbid and not to think, oh, I'll never get to do this again, but, but look at it as a way to be more engaged and more richly experience those moments as this is the last time. What would I do? How would I handle this? Um, what kind of decisions would I make? Uh, what would I say those words? Would I, would I give those hugs? What would I do if this was the last time? And, and I think when we do that, when we start engaging more, and we start um, cranking up those moments to be more richly enjoyed and feeling those emotions, I think we can see a massive uh, shift in our daily living um, and our daily happiness when we really engage in those moments as if it was the last time. And I'd love to connect with you and, and help you. Maybe there's a perspective you need to change I'd love to connect with you. You can go to AaronDegler.com and we can connect there through via text, email, um, jump on one of my coaching groups, um, whatever it is. I'd love to connect with you. I'd love to help you be able to um, change that perspective of, you know, I have lots and lots of years to, this is the last time only because it will help enrich your life and not only enrich your life, but when we do treat things as, as it's the last time, we treat moments as the last time, it's going to more richly um, enrich others' lives that you come in contact with, and that and that's and when we do that, we we start to spread, uh, we we drop the pebble, and it's a ripple effect. It, my life is enriched, others' lives are enriched, and they're going to enrich others' lives also. So, treat every moment as the last moment, and how will you be different in the last moment? Thanks for taking a little time to join me today. Look forward to seeing you the next time on the Mind Body Project. And as I tell my wife, Kim, every night before I go to bed, it's bottom of the ninth, double A.
out.